Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Bible said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go unto the house of the Lord. Anybody glad to be in God's house this morning? Amen. Oh, come on, if you're glad and you're happy, you know it. Come on, clap your hands if you're glad to be in God's house this morning. Oh, come on, you can do it so much better than that. Put those hands together if you're happy to be in God's house. I just want to check the house today. Anybody saved and glad to be saved this morning? Oh, I got no help in the middle. Anybody, anybody really happy to be in God's house and saved and in your right mind? Anybody glad to have the activities of your limbs? Anybody glad that he woke you up this morning? Everybody shout. Listen, we came to do a big job today. Today we take time to acknowledge, to remember the resurrection of our dear Savior. And I want to let you know something. When he got up, everything God had for you got up as well. Are y'all still too quiet over in the back over there? Come on, you couldn't drive all this way, look that good to be quiet on this morning. So for the next 35 seconds, well, let's do this. Won't you just introduce yourself to your neighbor? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know your name. I may not know where you live, but I do know this. You are a survivor. Praise him right there. Put something on it. Come on. Oh, you're too quiet. Come on, turn to that other neighbor and say, neighbor. I don't know your business. I may not know your last name, but I do know you are an overcomer. Look at that neighbor. Come on, turn behind. Turn behind you and tell somebody. Say, neighbor, I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what's covering you right now, but I do know you're covered by the blood, 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 blood. I have somebody say you got blood. It's a bloody shepherd. Look at somebody and tell them. I said, look at somebody and tell them. I don't know how you feel this morning, but I woke up with my mind. I said, my mind stayed on him. I'm walking and talking with my mind stayed on him. And if you don't want to shout, don't sit next to me today. If you don't want to dance, don't sit next to me today. Because when I think of all that he did, when I think about the nail, when I think about the sound, when I think about the spirit of the sound, I came to Father, we thank you. We magnify you, we glorify your name today. Because you're a great God, you're a great God. We magnify you because there's nobody like you. Nobody can save like you save. Nobody can heal like you heal. Nobody can deliver how you deliver. Thank you for touching us this morning. Thank you for giving us a finger of love today. Thank you for sending your only begotten son to die on a cursed cross for a sin-cursed world. We thank you for the thorn that went on his head. We thank you for the nails that went in his hands. We thank you for the spear that went in his side. We thank you for the spikes that went in his foot. We thank you, dear God, that the cross was stick down three feet in the mother earth. We glorify your name because everything that happened, it happened so you can bring us back. It happened so you could draw us back to your kingdom. And because of that, we don't stand before you as slaves. We don't stand before you as some foreigners far off. But we stand before you as your sons and your daughters. We're able, I'm about to shout. We're able to cry, Abba, Father. We lift our hands in the sanctuary today. And we tell you, thank you for going all the way. We tell you, thank you for thinking about us every step down the Via Della Rosa, the sorrowful way. We thank you for every step you took. You had my last name in mind for every cross you bear. You had our last name in mind for the stripes on your back. You had it all in mind and we thank you this morning. We magnify you today. We remember the sacrifice that your son made on the cross. And we just come this morning to tell you thank you. We tip our hats and we say much of life. We tell you, God, we love you so much. We lift our hands in the sanctuary 
and we tell you we couldn't be here if it did not happen. We lift our hands today and we tell you how much we're thankful, how grateful we are. We love you today, Jesus. Thank you for dying for our sins. Thank you for loving us when we are unlovable. Thank you for doing what nobody else would do. Thank you for being our closest friend. Thank you for being our company keeper. Thank you for being our bridge. Thank you for being our shelter. Thank you for being our all in all. We glorify your name and we magnify you because there's nobody like you. Hallelujah. We thank him. Come on, somebody give him praise in the house. Come on, I don't hear nobody. Give him praise. And life is worth the living. Y'all didn't respond back when I said it. I said life is worth the living. Why? Y'all didn't say it. Why? Because he, look at the neighbor and say, I'm glad he lives. I'm glad he lives. I'm glad he lives. I'm glad he lives. Lift your hands all over and give him a worship. Ooh. It's a good day to give him praise. It's one thing to hear about it, but it's one thing to know that he holds everything about us. Our future, our today, our tomorrow, and my life is <laughs> worth the living just because he lives. Let's sing the curse together. Here we go. Because he lives. Come on, church. Lift your voice. I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Because he lives. You sound good. Lift your voice. All fear, fear is gone. This is part I like. Because I Tell the story. God sent His Son. Here we go. God sent His Son. Come on, tell the story. What they call Him? They called Him Jesus. What did He do? He came to love, heal and forgive. Heal and forgive. Live in black. Empty grave is there to 
to worship. Come on, throw your hands up, everybody, and speak it out of your mouth. Come on. Speak it out of your mouth. It has to be audible, saints. Come on. It has to be audible. This is resurrection, so come on, resurrect your voice this morning. Because had he not got up, we wouldn't be here. Hey, but because he lives. I said because he lives. more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor these things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he lives. Glory to God. There we go. We got it together. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, he's a beautiful God. A I'm beautiful ready. God. He's a beautiful God. Look at somebody say, isn't he beautiful? I'm talking about the Lord Jesus. Tell him, isn't he beautiful? Just wave your hands. You know he's beautiful. Come on. I should look so beautiful up here today. Hallelujah. Somebody make some noise. Yeah. Out there, make some noise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I saw the Lord yeah. Yeah. sitting on his throne. And the train of the Lord, oh, yeah, feel this temple all day and night. The angels proclaim yeah, yeah. what they sing, y'all. Then say, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is come. Be exalted. Be exalted. Yes, sir. Be lifted high. Yes. King of heaven. Glorify. Be glorified.
I want to go see him this morning. Be exalted. what they do in those worship churches. King of Let me show you what happens here. You take your hands and surrender right here. All worship let's cut the music we need the music to make us worship so we don't even need no music this morning if you're glad he got up you're gonna automatically make the noise make the noise make the noise make the noise statement of faith our believing concerning the Bible we believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God our belief concerning God we believe that there is one God eternally existent in three persons God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit our belief concerning the church we believe in the blessed hope which is the rapture of Church of God which is in Christ at his return. Our belief concerning sin. We believe that the only meanings of being cleansed from sin is through repentance, faith, and the precious blood of Jesus Christ and being baptized in water. Our belief concerning salvation. We believe that the regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. Our belief concerning Christ. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body and answers to believing in prayer. Our belief concerning the Holy Ghost. We believe that the baptism in the Holy Ghost according to Acts 2 and 4 is given to believers who ask for. Our belief concerning sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. Now look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, that's what I believe. Good morning, Bryce I say James. I'm here to recite our mission statement. Our mission is to preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ while serving our community as a holistic ministry by touching mind, body, and spirit, producing mature believers who are rooted in the word, renewed through the worship, and reaching into the word by yielding to God our time, talents, treasure, and temple. Now look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we are two churches with one mission. Good morning. 
Morning, Christian Saints and online friends. Welcome to Brightside Church Chicago St. James Ministry, where Superintendent Chris T. Harris Sr. is our pastor. At Brightside St. James, we are lifting the Savior through loving saints with lights that shine. Our churches, our churches can be reached. Our joint worship services are currently being held at Kenwood Academy. 5015 South Blackstone Avenue, Chicago, Illinois 60615. Our churches can be reached via telephone at 773-373-5220. We want to thank you for tuning in online. We hope to we hope you have subscribed to our church's YouTube channel. We are asking that you share this service online and help us spread God's love today. At this time, we want to welcome all guests by asking them to please stand. Welcome and thank you for coming. Bar Star and St. James, let's join them in standing as we welcome them as well as each other. At Bar Star and St. James, you are always welcome. Good morning, Christ our St. James. Happy Resurrection morning. Please stand all over this sanctuary. It's time that we go and say hello to our neighbors and to our friends. Let's go and greet somebody. Step out of your seat. Go greet someone across the aisle and show the love of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he who desires a friend must show himself friendly. I want all of our friends and friends to go and say hello and share the love of Jesus and Christ. Go and hug someone. You don't know what your smile might do. You don't know what your hello might do. Go and share the love of Jesus with someone. The Jesus and me. Jesus and me. For all of you who are tuning in by way of online streaming, we're even showing love to you from afar. God bless you and thank you for tuning in to our worship service. Please Facebook somebody, tweet somebody, text message somebody and tell them to tune in right now to our services at RightStarChurchChicago.com. You can go on Facebook and share the live stream and let someone share in this grand worship experience today. Go and share the love of Jesus with someone as you make your way back to your seat. It's so easy to love. God makes it so easy. Go and say hello. Makes it so easy. So easy. Go ahead and make your way back to your seat. Smile at your neighbors on your way back to your seat. Share a hug with them on your way back to your seat. Oh, it's so easy to love. Come on and clap your hands all over this sanctuary. At this time, God bless you. Well, it is Easter Sunday morning. It's Resurrection Sunday morning. Is anybody else in here glad that he got up? There's a preacher coming, but our children are here. And they've come to share with you their Easter speeches and their song. Show them, if you will, how proud of them you are. Show them how supportive of them you are. This is the future of our church and the future of our generation. Let's stand all over this house and clap as they come forward in a masterful and mighty way. We love all of you.
Well, welcome. We are so glad to see you. I'm sure you never guessed how much your being with us adds to our happiness. Of course you know that Easter Christ rose from the tomb to banish sin and gloom, and that he lives forever, and that he lives forever. And that he lives forever to banish sin and gloom. And you'll learn why Christians are joyful every day. Tomorrow, the death of Jesus upon the cross flew to those who loved him with such a loss. Why must his life end this way? Why was his sentence to die this way? He died to give us a new tomorrow filled with hope and no more sorrow. He died for all men yesterday to show the world another way. Every day, Sue. If I had stood there by the cross the day that Jesus died, would I have left him hanging there, my Jesus crucified? It was for me. He took my place so I could always live with him in heaven forevermore. What a beautiful gift to give. I'm glad that Jesus rose again. I love him. Indeed, I do. And I know that he loves you on Easter and every day, too. Mother of my Lord, what privilege was mine to be chosen in this way and bear the one divine. As the mother of my Lord, my heart was broken sore. On the day of Calvary, I heard the crowds uproar. Then I saw him lifted up, I heard his awful cry. Watched him suffer as no man. I watched him bleed and die. <laughs> I am Simon Peter, who three times my Lord denied. Then I wept because I knew I failed when he was tried. I am Peter, I who ran into the tomb that dawn, saw the linen clothing there, and knew the Lord was gone. I am Peter, I who said, I love you, my Lord, as you know. And then he told me, feed my lambs, my love for him to show. John, I was once a fisherman who left my nets at all just to follow after him when I heard his call. I was seated by his side when he had come to sup. I could hear the words he spoke when he had served the cup. E for every time I think of spring, I will praise to God we all should bring. Hey, for a pay of things, we not began to aid him who came to save from sin. We're so glad we are know we are to know for sure that Jesus died to make us pure. T stands for the best part of the story goes like this: Our Lord arose. Is for each little blossom seems to say. Look up and sing, it's Easter Day. Re R is for rejoy all children everywhere. His love for us we all may share. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you all, thank you so much. You all did masterfully. Great job, great job, great job. Uh, Saints, if there are some children who are still in the audience, our children's church is well and capable and able to take your children. If you can, if you have them here and you want to worship God in peace and fully in this worship service, we invite you to take your children to the foyer area outside those doors and E.P. D'Amica Brown will gladly receive them there. And we thank God for all of you, the Lord's people.
Happy Easter. This is Jalen Chice reporting for Bright Star and St. James. We warmly welcome all visitors. We want to acknowledge you and thank you for coming. And to our online viewers, thank you for tuning into our service. We ask that you please share our service on social media. Our goal is to reach 400 shares and we're depending on you. For more information about our church, you may visit us at stjamesministrychicago.com or brightstarchurchchicago.com. During these times, we need prayer now more than ever. Join us for our Zoom prayer call every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. Prayer begins at 6 a.m. and you can join us by dialing in or by using a Zoom link. Let's come together and pray for each other. Save the date. On April 13th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., the National Association of Real Estate Brokers is set to make a significant impact with the grand finale of the Building Black Wealth Tour. This event will unite 100 churches and 100 communities, helping to promote economic empowerment and financial literacy within the African American community. In collaboration with prestigious partners such as the Church of God in Christ Bishop Shared, the African American Mayors Association, the National Bar Association, and Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. This event promises to be empowering and life-changing. You don't want to miss it. God bless you, my friends. As founder and CEO of Bright Star Community Outreach, let me share three reasons I'm excited about BSEO's 2024 year. Firstly, our dream. I initiated the social services agency 15 years ago as the outreach arm of our ministry and it has evolved into a company employing over 135 full and part-time team members. We offer trauma counseling, workforce development skills, financial literacy courses, health and wellness programming, educational empowerment, along with housing initiatives. We've established a 70-plus school-based, community-based, and faith-based collaborative to address violence and trauma in our greater Bronzeville and Roseland West Pullman communities on the south side of Chicago. BSEO exists as a hub addressing challenges in under-resourced, underserved, and underdeveloped communities, utilizing our TNT and CNC model. Check this out. According to the University of Chicago research, our collaborative work has resulted in a 14% reduction in robberies, a 10% drop in aggravated assault, and an astounding 17% decrease in shootings in the specific catchment area that we serve in the greater Bronzeville community. In simple terms, our work is working. Now, the second reason for my excitement is our team. H.E. Lukak once declared, no one can whistle a symphony. It takes a whole orchestra to play it. I've retained many of our previous leaders who helped bring us to where we are. Now, I have recruited new leaders with fresh ideas, new plans, and processes to elevate our company and our community. To never settle for good, but strive for greatness is the best approach. And under the new leadership of our executive director, Lucretia Kindred, and our entire leadership team, the sky is the limit, and more people will be served. Finally, I am thrilled about taking the show on the road. We've proven our turn model here in Chicago, and I want to bring this model and our impact to your local city. Visit our website, view the information on the screen, and reach out to us if you are interested in replicating this work. I want to teach you how to do what we have done. A very special thank you to our staffers, our partners, and our funders. This will be our best year ever as we strengthen hope and save lives at Bright Star Community Outreach. The Bible says my king is the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. I wonder, do you know him? My king is a sovereign king. No means of measure can define his limitless love. He's enduringly strong. 
He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. He's impartially merciful. Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of this world. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He is the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient savior. I wonder if you know him today. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleans the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captive. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he beautifies the meek. I wonder if you know him. He's the key to knowledge. He's the wellspring of wisdom. He's the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. He's the roadway of righteousness. He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. Do you know him? Well, his life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. And his yoke is easy. And his burden is light. I wish I could describe him to you. Yes, he's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. You can't get him out of your mind. You can't, you can't get him off of your hand. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. Well, the Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him, and the grave couldn't hold him. Yeah! That's my king. That's my king. Amen. Well, we're singing happy, happy birthday to you. We're singing happy, happy birthday to you. Well, we're singing happy, happy birthday to you. We're singing happy, happy birthday to you. Well, you look good, you look good, oh, you look fine, you look fine. We hope you have oh, a Jesus, 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 Jesus,
We request there is no talking, walking, eating, or chewing gum in a sanctuary while the word is going forth. If you are asked to relinquish your seat for our disabled or elderly, we ask that you please cooperate. If you are tuning in online, we ask that you please share our service. When you are prompted to give, we ask that you go to our church website and click on the giving tab, pay by Zelle, Cash App, or use our text to give option. We appreciate your cooperation. You've heard your church announcements. Now please, govern yourselves accordingly. This has been Jalen Trice, reporting for Bright Star and St. James. Happy Come on, Bright Star St. James. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord on today. Listen, let me take a point of personal privilege. I want everybody to stand to your feet and clap your hands and wish happy birthday to our very own pastor. Come on, raise the roof in the house, everybody, everywhere, all over the place. Come on, everybody, lift your voice and magnify the Lord for the set man of this house. 50 years, we're celebrating his jubilee. Come on, he has many things to many people, but he is our pastor. He is our shepherd. He is our covering. We thank the Lord for the candlestick in the house. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm having a seat. We're happy. We got the glad glads this morning because we're just glad to be in the house of the Lord. Listen, I want you to do me a favor. The whole reason why we celebrate today the resurrection of Jesus Christ is because John 3.16 told us that God first shared his son with us. John 3.16 let us know that God, the greatest giver, he gave Jesus the greatest gift so that then Jesus could come and give us the greatest grace, everlasting life. So if God cared enough about us to share his son, why don't you care enough about your church to share our service? No? Come on. Pick up your mobile devices, whatever you got. Share our service. Go to our church YouTube, Facebook page, website, whatever you have. Have you connect with us virtually and share this service with everybody that you know. All right. One final announcement. If you have coats inside of your chairs, go ahead and put them underneath so we can save some additional seats for those who are on their way. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world. That means you and me. He loved us so much that he died to give us this everlasting life. It is prayer time. Would you stand to your feet? It is prayer time. There's a special place here at the altar for you. There is a special place here at the altar for you. If you want to experience the everlasting life that the choir just sang about, it is for you. Make your way down. It is prayer time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. They're still coming. It is prayer time. You shall have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Whether you're here in the sanctuary or whether you're tuning in online, it is prayer time. I pray that you would meet me, if you're not here at the altar, that you would meet me in spiritual consciousness. Because the word of God can reach you right where you are. Amen. If you are here in the sanctuary and someone that you love is not here, reach him now in love and in consciousness and bring them into the fold if you don't think it's biblical there was a man that told Christ you don't need to come to my house but you can send the word and your word will do the work at my house so God we thank you we have a simple prayer this morning it's a three word prayer and that three word prayer is God 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 be God in our homes be God in our lives be God in our families be God in our work situations be God my God be God have your way God in the name of Jesus God we thank you for sending your son just for us I have to take it personal today God I personally think, personally think that you did it just for me. You died just for me. You suffered just for me. You bled just for me. Oh God, thank you for allowing that sacrifice to be made. Now God, these people here on the altar and those who have joined us in consciousness online, we ask God that you would move in a way that you haven't moved before. Touch them God from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. You know every situation. You know every circumstance. God be God. God be God. God be God. We're thanking you in advance for victory because you are God. We're thanking you in advance for breakthrough because you are God. God be God. Father, we thank you for this service. We thank you for our pastor. We thank you that you have given him 50, 50 years. God, we pray and we thank you for the last 50 and we pray for 50 more. In the name of Jesus, God, be God in his situation. Allow him, God, to continue to break the bread of life that we might be able to live victoriously in our daily lives. In the name of Jesus, bless him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Everything that he endeavors to do exceed his expectations. God, exceed our expectations. We are here before you right now with prayers that need to be answered. Exceed our expectation. We've come here with tears in our eyes. We don't know how it's going to work out, but God, exceed our expectation. God be God. God be God in the name of Jesus. Now, God, you told us not to pray if we didn't have enough faith to back it up. So God, we're going to start thanking you right now because we know that the victory is already done. We clapping already because we know the victory has already been secured. We clapping already because we feel you wiping the tears off from our eyes. We go back to our seats now knowing that it's already worked out. It's already handled. Thanking you in advance because God, you are God. And beside you, there is no other. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be 
graze. I tell you, some trust in joint horses, some trust in chariots, but I don't trust in none of that. I will trust in the name of the Lord from age to age, from glory to glory. There is nobody like our God. He is the one true and living God. I feel him when I wake up. I feel him during the day. And I feel him when I go to bed. So our simple prayer is that God, oh God, oh God, oh God, God, be God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Come on, clap your hands if you love the Lord in here. Open your mouth and shout unto God if you love him. Come on. Stand to your feet, everybody. What a mighty God we serve. If you're physically able, just stand to your feet. God is a great God. He is great and greatly to be praised. Would you just tell somebody he reigns forever? Come on, tell somebody on the other side he reigns forever. Those that love Jesus, shout unto God right now all over this room. I can't hear y'all in the balcony. Come on. Y'all turn the lights on in the balcony. I'm talking, y'all make some noise for everybody in here who's in your section that look good. Make some noise for them now. I want to try something before y'all go to your seat. Um, I, before I was the first of all, I'm 50 tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Good God Almighty! I'm 50 tomorrow. That means today I preach my last sermon in my 40s. Yeah, you do. Yeah. But like Jesus, I'm a. I'm just glad to be alive. How many of y'all used to sing in the choir? Raise your hand. Everybody used to sing in the choir. Keep that spotlight on, Keyshawn. Y'all sing, you sing in the choir, raise your hand. The choir. All right. The choir. All right. All the sopranos in the audience make some noise. Alto, show them where you're at. Tenors! All the bass. I used to, listen, I'm born and raised in Bright Star and been pastoring now. This year I celebrate 25 years of pastoring. Y'all saw the, y'all saw the pictures? A little bit has changed. I started off with an afro and this is what pastoring does to you. I didn't lose my hair, just shifted. That's funny. But all y'all that used to sing in the choir, it's a, I used to be the minister of music yes, at Bright Star before I became the pastor. And we used to sing a certain song on Easter Sunday. And I'm gonna see if any of y'all know this old school song. Give me that track a little bit. It's by Milton Bronson, the Thompson community singer. Everybody, people are always talking about, clap that. People are always talking about Come on How they crucify Yes, they're always Give me the choir, let me hear the band He He's steady making a way For me to endure To enjoy abundant life If you don't know why some noise in here. Y'all clap your hands. If you don't, Jesus rose. Everybody clap. People are. Started me on my way. I am and and still my sight. You see, I am here tonight. Food on my table. Food on my table. I know that God is able. If you know, if you don't know, find out. Jesus, Jesus, Whoa! 
Tell them, say, if you don't know by now, come on, say it. That's it, Jesus. Make some noise up in here if you know he lives. I said, make some noise if you know he lives. If you love Jesus, let me hear y'all go crazy up in here. Y'all sit down. God is a great God. He is great and greatly to be praised in the city of our God and in the mountain of his holiness. If you sat next to anybody good looking, make some noise for him. Come on. Is that all y'all got for these people? Come on now. Now let, let me just tell you something. I want to thank God for all of you all that are watching on YouTube, everybody who's watching on Facebook. Take your phones out real quick. Y'all know I hope it's an Apple device. The rest of it I'm praying for y'all. But I want you to hold, make sure you do me a favor. Go to our Bright Star Church Chicago. Bright Star Church Chicago page. Go to our St. James Ministries Kojic page and make sure you share the service. We have, listen, it's a whole lot of y'all up in here. And we ought to have at a minimum of 400 shares today. So make sure y'all share the service and include those who are in your sphere of influence and invite them to come over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Nail, thank you for tuning in. Those that are in the building, you don't have to be online. Let, leave that for the folk that ain't here. Uh, but Andrea Thurman, thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, Denise Bradley, thank you for tuning in. Those of you all that are watching us on YouTube, thank y'all for tuning in. Here's where you all to clap. 80 countries around the world tune in to our ministry. And we are, y'all ain't clapping better than that. Come on. And we are so excited. I want to thank all of the folks. If this is your, let me just do this. If this is your first time coming to Bright Star St. James, please stand right now. We want to love on you. Come on. Come on, y'all do better than that. All these first timers, come on. Good God Almighty. Thank you. Look at all these folks. Keep standing, first timers. Keep standing. Everybody who's visiting today, join them in standing. If, you, if you've been here before, stand. Come on. Clap for all these visitors. Come on. Which section is the most grateful they came and sat in your section? Look at all these peeps. And we don't want y'all to come anytime. We really prefer you come all the time. Clap your hands for all of these folks. Will y'all give it up for our internet church, the folks that are watching from 80 countries around the world. Y'all clap better than that. Let them know that we are super duper grateful. And this is really what it's all about. I promise not to hold you long today. Uh, but listen, I'm just so grateful uh, to Lottie Dottie and everybody. We want you to come back over and over again. I just want you, I got good news for you. I got good news for you. Uh, listen, these same seats are going to be here next Sunday. The same exact seats that you in right now. I already talked to them. They say, I'm, let them know. I'm going to be here next Sunday. And I would love for the same person sitting here today to be here on next Sunday. Let me tell you something. You go to a lot of churches and they be tripping. to my these folk don't come except on Easter Sunday. Not here. I'm glad you came. Because you could have gone to any other place. Amen. You could have been like some of my members who was at the club last night, drank a little bit too much, and decided to tune in. I thank y'all for tuning in, too. I appreciate you. But y'all decided to come in, and we, we really prefer that you come hang out with us. I want to prophesy something only for 30 of y'all that get real excited. I just believe, listen, i wait till y'all stop talking. I want you to hear this. I'm going to wait on you. I want you to hear this. You know what I believe? I believe that if we do right by God, Easter Sunday 2025 
we will walk in our brand new church. Y'all don't know when to praise God. Yeah, I thought I had some folks. Come on. G, just a little bit more right here with this. Let, let me say it again. By Easter Sunday next year, we won't be renting, we'll be owning. I thought y'all would praise God. Come on. Just these two monitors here. Just that. That's all I need. Let, I'm trying to, I believe God. I, I truly believe God. And I thank the Lord. Thank you. I thank the Lord for Kenwood making room for us. Y'all ought to clap for Principal Callaway. PJ and the entire team that helps us to come here. And we are so grateful. But I just want to trust God for next year. I know we have some extra stuff that happened today. So y'all just be extra patient. We're going to get out of here. I promise you that. But will y'all please go crazy for all the children and young people that participated on today's service. Oh man, I th come on now. If you did an Easter speech when you was a shorty and you made it through it, you ought to be clapping for the courage of all these young people. Young people that did the BNN and young people on the camera. I'm just really, really so grateful and I'm really excited about it. Who came out for a word from the Lord? Listen, I won't be before you long, but I, there is a word from the Lord and, and I'm only going to preach to my am amen section. Where is my talk back to me section today? Thank you. Come on, stand to, from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians, we stand for the reading of the word of God. And we would that you would stand out of respect and reverence. And I hope you have your Bibles, whether it be your conventional printed Bible or your mobile device. Hold it up right now. Say, this is my Bible. Say, I am what it declares I am. Say, I can do every single thing this word declares I can do. Look at somebody say, I shall have. They were kind enough to talk to you. So smile back at them. Say, you shall have. Don't you be stingy. Prophesy to them. Say, we shall have. Every single thing this word declares, we shall have in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. The word of the Lord says from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, we're going to read it responsibly. That means I will read verses 6, 8, and 10. I'll read the even numbers. You read the odd. Pick up 7 and 9. And we're going to go from a solo to a symphony at verse 10 when you have it say I have it if you're still looking say hold up I got your back we're going to wait on you I always say a lot of people can find it fast but they live it slow so you don't have to be intimidated by it just go to the table of contents and go all the way to the New Testament and then flip toward Revelations you're going to find it before you get there and 1 Corinthians is right there but we got it on the screen for you via technology and here's what the word of the Lord says Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. You read? Y'all sound good. Here is what I'll focus on, which verse 8. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had those fools known it. I'm talking about the demons that killed Jesus. The imps that tried to take him out. The, the enemy who wanted to eradicate him. For had they known it. They, the haters. Would not have crucified the Lord of glory. You read. Come on, use your preaching voice. I have not seen. Come on. All the folk that love him and know he got something prepared for you, shout right now. Come on. Let's read verse 10 together. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things. Yea. The deep things of God. Can I put our sermonic spotlight on 
verse 7 and 8. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. I want you to look your neighbor now. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Make sure you touch somebody better looking than you are. I see some of y'all snatch your hand back quick. Must be the sexiest sanctified person on your road. Go on, grab somebody by the hand. If it ain't somebody better looking than you, find somebody looking at you and say, neighbor, pastor's going to talk to us about a fair warning. Give God a shout of praise right there. That's all I want to talk about. I want to talk about a fair warning. A fair warning. A fair warning. Just so you know, we do have children's church and it is still going on and the shorties can go over there. And one thing they're going to get that y'all ain't going to get is an Easter basket, some candy. Don't y'all hate on the babies. And all you adults stay seated. See that young kid walking out of here like, Candy, I'm up. <laughs> Look, he don't even need no usher. Like, I'm good. I know where I'm going. <laughs> you know, there's a fella by the name of Abraham Lincoln. He's remembered as one of the greatest leaders of the United States. And Lincoln's life had more cul-de-sacs than an affluent white suburb. In his youth, he went to war as a captain, but he returned as a private, which is as low as you can rank in the military. And it's literally the opposite of what you're supposed to do because you're supposed to get in and go up. But he got in and went down. What you may not know about Abraham Lincoln is he started various businesses that all failed. Abraham Lincoln, known as one of the greatest presidents of the United States, went bankrupt twice. And he was defeated in 26 of the campaigns that he ran for for public office. But he still became president. A fellow named Ludwig van Beethoven. A lot of people don't know, although he is known for his lyrical prowess and because of his musical mastery. He was able to artistically create music that literally still blows people away hundreds of years later. But what a lot of people don't know was he was a deaf musician. Couldn't be a better metaphor for perseverance. But there's more to Beethoven's struggle than losing his hearing. He was 
incredibly awkward, typically socially ostracized, known as being pretty weird on the violin. <laughs> you got to understand that he would make his own compositions, but he refused to practice. He was a genius, some would say by mistake, but it was on purpose. And being born in a time where they had no apathy for losers, even children, he rose above the fray and he became known as one of the greatest musical composers of all times. A fellow by the name of Michael Jordan. I know y'all like LeBron. But Jordan is still the greatest of all time. Because even if LeBron outscores MJ, he really has never outpersevered MJ. Because all the folk that know the court that I'm talking about is the, the way these fellas play now ain't the way that they played back then. Now, now anybody can score a bunch of points now, but when you was playing the Detroit Pistons... and you can still score, then you are, in fact, the greatest of all time. I know they ain't going to talk to you right now because they're a hater. But there are some of you all, by way of your shout, you scored under pressure. And you still won under immense warfare. And that's why you sat next. You ought to introduce yourself to your neighbor and tell him you sat next to the goat. You sat next. Come on. You sat next to the G-O-A-T, the greatest of all time. Now, you may not be the greatest in the world. Y'all ain't going to shout, but you're the greatest in your family. There's some haters over here. You may not be the greatest at your job, but you might be the greatest with your last name. Y'all ain't talking to me. And is there anybody in here that can say, I took a licking and I kept on ticking do me a favor on Easter Sunday. Shout so the devil in hell can hear that you still alive after everything that you've been through. But a lot of people don't know that even though he's the ghost, he's the goat, uh, he the goat, he's the greatest of all time. He missed more than 9,000 shots in his career. He lost over 300 games. And over 26 times, there were 26 occasions where Michael Jordan said, I've been entrusted to take the game winning shot, but I missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life. And he said, that's why I'm a success. Because I was able to outlive my failures. Oh, I'm preaching. I'm preaching. I'm, I, okay, okay. If, if, that's, if that's not enough, I, I just give you two more. I'll give you two more. Uh, uh, here it is. Uh, I, I know. Okay, let me give you three more since I'm here. Uh, since I did the study, I don't want to waste my time. Stephen King. Stephen King. One of the greatest successes. Uh, Stephen King's first book. Uh, young people, don't get scared. Uh, his first book was a thriller called Carrie. Anybody remember Carrie? <laughs> I mean, I remember as a kid, I was scared to death. Talking about red rum. I was, hey, hey. Back in the day, they would tell you, don't you talk to a mirror when it's dark? You remember? I just told you I'm 50, didn't I? Just... Jack Nicholas and, you know, folks in them old movies, you know, they would scare you. But what they don't know they don't know is uh, his book Carrie was rejected by publishers 30 times 
Somebody say 30 times. 30 times. But Stephen King didn't stop submitting. For the balcony, since y'all saying amen over here, I like y'all. I'll come up there with the mic if y'all keep that up. Stephen King said what your neighbor ought to say for the rest of their life. I refuse to quit. This way you're going to see if you ought to move your seat right now. Because some of y'all sat next to some folk that are just dead as, as folks in the grave. You, you ought to just elbow them, see if they woke, tell them I refuse to quit. I refuse. They turned down my application, but I refuse to quit. They didn't give me the house that I want yet, but I refuse to quit. My credit score is a 492, and I really need a 739, but I refuse to quit. Y'all didn't got quiet. Uh, they broke up with me. They quit me, and I'm by myself, but I still refuse to quit. And where are the people in here that made it up in your mind if I get up? I'm going to remind myself that if I lose everything and still got Jesus, I got enough to start all over again. It's the right question. I just came to give a fair warning to the devil. You ain't playing with no punk today. I done made it 49 years and 364 days. And tomorrow starts a whole new chapter. And is there anybody here that's ready for a new chapter in your life? Grab your neighbor by the hand and just tell your neighbor, get ready for a new chapter. Get ready. And after he fell, he didn't stop submitting. Eighth time, kept submitting. Fifteenth time, kept submitting. Twenty-second time, kept submitting. Twenty-nine times after rejection. Y'all been with me. Let me see if I can get them. But on the thirtieth time. Somebody considered him. And I came to tell 29 of y'all that would shout like you done lost your mind. Your last no was your last no. You better grab somebody by the hand and shake the hand like you're going to shake it off. And tell us his name. Your last no was your last no. There's a yes coming. There's a yes coming. I said that you better jump up and shout yes! And so, and so, I'm done with the examples. I'll move on. I just wanted to just kind of tell you if, I just wanted to tell you if, 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 if Stephen King was here, if Michael Jordan was here, if Beethoven was here, if Abraham Lincoln was here, you know what they would tell you? Only for my seven people on the other side of the balcony, you know what they would tell you? It's something special about folks who bounce back. And I came on Easter Sunday morning to give the devil in hell a fair warning that everybody under the sound of my voice is getting ready to bounce back in a way that you, I'm only talking to the folks that ever took a good licking. And the enemy thought it was, oh, push that organ in the house and tell your neighbor you're about to bounce back. I'm trying you're about to bounce back from debt. You're about to bounce back from low self-esteem. You're about to bounce back from heartbreak. You're about to bounce back from stress. I don't care what happened in your life. You ought to jump up and shout because you survived it all. Shouts of the devil and hell can 
hear that you survived. You was louder than that at the club. You was louder than that at the party. Get loud on Easter Sunday. Warriors, come out to play. You better shout. Talk to me, somebody. Smack you from the high five and tell them BBP, BBP. Bounce back power, bounce back power. Watch these preachers that don't move when they ain't got the mic. Watch these folk, watch the singers that don't get happy when they ain't got the mic. My bounce back crowd, shout! You ought to tell somebody pain made me look this good, baby, pain. Suffering made me this attractive. And if you understood the scars underneath all this good looking, you better shout one more time and make Satan shut the hell up. Shout! sit down and um something special that's why that's, that's why that, that's why what that's why what we celebrate today that's why what we celebrate today is off the chain because I get to tell you a story of a fella who bounced back. That, that's, why, that's why the text, that's why the text, y'all sit down, I got 15 minutes, you got to go. Uh, uh, that's, why the, that's why the text says, because I, see, I can take a few corners because y'all know the story. And, and, and you got to hear this. Don't, don't, don't let nobody talk to you during the whole sermon. They ain't preaching. They're not preaching. I, I want you to get this. That's, that's why, that's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, he says, How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. We speak wisdom. We speak wisdom. And the reason you ought to be excited about your future is God is not just about to give you knowledge. He's about to give you wisdom. Because I know a lot of people that got knowledge, but they have no wisdom. Can I get a witness in here? Know some folks who, here's your shout. They know how to, but they don't know when to. Why y'all sitting there looking at the folk responding, but you ain't responding with your nosy self? God's getting ready to give you some knowledge, but then he's going to impute into your spirit wisdom. He's going to tell you, look here, Christina. Pay attention. He's going to tell you when to. He's going to tell you how to. He's going to tell you who to. Y'all ain't shot. He's going to tell you who not to. He's going to tell you where not to. He's going to tell you what not to. He's going to give you not only knowledge, but wisdom. And then the third thing he's going to give you is insight. I got scripture for it. I, I don't have time to unpack it. But I want to just tell y'all, here, here, is, here, is, here is when people who have knowledge get jealous of people who have wisdom and those who have insight. God will give you insight and wisdom without knowledge and let you, shout in the balcony if you know what I'm talking about, let you hire folks that are le more educated than you are. And they be sitting up there, they want to be you for Halloween, but don't know how much your costume costs. And they be sitting up there, here you hired them, you put them at the desk. You gave them the job and they sitting there looking at you like, that's a terrible decision. I, if it was me, I would do something different. Well, you ain't me, that's number one. Secondly, God didn't trust you with this thing. And you better be careful wanting to be somebody else 
Because if you're going to want to reign where they reign, you got to be willing to suffer where they suffered. And a lot of people want the glory, but they don't know your story. And is there anybody here that got a story for your glory? Shout because you got the story. You ought to slap people for half out, tell them I got a story, baby. I can write a book. I can do a movie. I got a story, and I ain't even told you all the chapters. But here it is. In the end, I still win. And listen, you you know what? People are shocked that God is using you. Because you ain't holy as they are. You ain't, you ain't as righteous as they are. You, you a lot more sinful than they are. Come on now. Because some folks have the right life but the wrong heart. With your sanctified, sedity self. Swear you better than everybody else. Here it is. Come on now, you saw my movie, but I missed your video. And you better understand, everybody in here in their book of life got some bad chapters. That's why I like the text. When he said, I speak wisdom among them, them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world. That come to naught. Now, I, I'm encouraging you, get your education. And when, when people always ask me, Pastor Harris, I literally just got back from Israel on my eighth trip and I'm traveling the world in some kind of way. I'm always ending up in front of great people. Y'all done got quiet. You, see, see you're going to miss your prophecy talking to a joker that can't get you favor. You, you better understand me good. Some of y'all, listen. You in this next year are getting ready to sit at tables you ain't qualified to be at. I only got one person that really two. Okay, I got three. You get ready to walk into rooms and you're going to be sitting there looking around saying, how in the world did I get chosen to be in this room? There is something that God is getting ready to put on the inside of you. And I promise you, if you open your mouth now, he'll put something on the inside of you that will make you be able to start a business. It'll cause you to be able to turn things upside down. And listen to me good. If you shout like you didn't lost your mind, I promise you, God will literally use you to break generational curses that's been on your bloodline. For I tell you to shout. It's breaking while you shout. It's breaking while you open your mouth. God is destroying things that came down from Jenner. You are a curse breaker. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Tell, 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 tell your neighbor, sin neighbor. I'm carrying something great and I need you to act like you're glad that I'm pregnant see if they'll start praising God because God will give them an ultrasound about you eyes have not seen there's the text ears have not heard neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that God has prepared in store. Just slap him a high five. Tell him you're carrying greatness. You're carrying. You're carrying greatness. And God's going to give you wisdom on how to use it. He's going to give you wisdom on how to birth it. Man, will y'all come back next Sunday? I like this crowd. Sit, sit down. Sit down. Here it is. But, verse, he, he, he said, verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. 
Uh, yeah, come on, give, give it to them, give it to them. They, they don't believe, verse 7, verse 7. But, but we speak, but we speak, but we speak, Paul, the Corinthian church, but we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery, even the hidden wisdom, even, even the hidden wisdom. Uh, here it is. I don't know which one of y'all, the one on the right, the one on the left, doesn't matter to me, but you got to decide it's you. This next 90 days, God told me to tell you that I'm going to give the folks who believe secrets. See, you thought I was going to say some real big Greek, Hebrew. No, no, no. It's in English. Secrets. Because if you receive a secret, that means you are now in the minority section. And the majority is going to seek you for what God put inside of you. I need you to know. I know that they're not going to shout. But, but, and people be like, why they shout so much? Because I believe so much. Can I tell you what you sat next to? I, I didn't say who. Karen, I'm going to tell you what you sat next to. Uh, and if you get excited, God will open them up to you and for you. Come here. You sat next to, here it is, a vault. A vault. V-A-U-L-T. A vault. A vault. You know, you know what they do? Stuff that is valuable. They take it. They don't put it in an account. They stuff it in a vault. Because that which is valuable can't just be put anywhere. Watch them miss they shout over here. That's why when Jesus died, they tucked him into a tomb. Because he was the secret. He was the mysteries of God. Sent from the foundation of the world. And here is what the text says. He said, uh, here it is, the hidden wisdom. And God, touch your head, touch your head. We got to go soon. But touch your head, touch your head. And say, Lord, give me the secrets. Lord, give me the secrets. Lord, give me, give me the hidden wisdom. Give, give me the hidden wisdom. Give me, give me knowledge that nobody with my last name got. Give me, give me information that nobody on my block got. Give me, matter of fact, give me information that's so amazing till when they laying off at my job, my boss will overlook me because he knows if I go down, the company goes down. And I, I just want to tell everybody in here, because you made it today. Oh, my God. I, okay, they don't hear me in the back of there. Grab one more person for the second time. Make sure it's the one that ain't tired of you. And tell them, say, neighbor, I want to prophesy. Because you made it today, you're going to make it in life. I, I'm trying to tell you, just, just because you showed up, God's getting ready to show out for you. And he's going to give you hidden secrets, hidden wisdom. I'm talking about stuff that will shrink your 30-year mortgage to a three-year payoff. Y'all, y'all ain't getting in. Y'all ain't shot. I'm talking about the kind of secrets that will tell you to apply for the government grant so you ain't got to pay your student loans off. Y'all ain't talking in here. I'm talking about the hidden wisdom of God that can help you to start a company without background. Okay, okay, this is too much for y'all. You are not connected to a bank account. Next to you is a bank. Yeah. 
I'm so sick of this. Next to you is a bank. I'm going to say it again. Next to you is a bank. Y'all don't believe it? He said, you're the lender and not the borrower. Not my section. You're above and not beneath. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed and you're going in. You're blessed and you're coming out. And y'all ain't saying nothing yet. But oh, everybody in here that will shout like you trust God before he does what he promised he's going to do, he'll speed it up for you. You better, don't you wait till the battle is over. Shout right now. Verse 7, we out of here. Verse 7, verse 7. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Verse 8, finally there, we out of here. Verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew. Come here. Shh. Sanhedrin council. All 72 of them. You got to understand when you do an exegetical study of the text and when, when the Lord begins to open up the scripture to you and you do a little bit of background. I just came back from over there and there were 72 fellows. Some were known as the Pharisees and some were known as the Sadducees. And I believe they were called the Sadducees because they were sad, you see. Because here they have matriculated through the universities of that day. And here comes Jesus. A fella out of Nazareth. And they would always say, can any good thing come from Nazareth? Do you know how many people are shocked? That God keep taking you up. All right, all right, all right. Let me let me try it another way. There there are some people who are going to pray for you, and they gonna get mad that God answered their prayer about you. I'm preaching this better than y'all saying Amen. Some people in your life, I didn't find my 30. They're going to be shocked at what God, every time they look at you. They're going to have to look at you and say, look what God has done. Mastermind is he. I don't know who I'm talking to. But there's some folks in your family that's going to get ready to finally realize they need you. And they're going to apologize about the fact that they counted you out. Oh, but because you persevered. The Sadducees and the Pharisees, the Sanhedrin council, they, they decided uh, this fellow creates a buffet out of a little boy's lunch. Two fish. Five loaves. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. And he feeds 5,000. I mean, one man that's colder than the greater food depository of Chicago. He, he said, I just needed you to know I can provide and supply all of your need. Then this one fellow here, here it is. They would typically have, have uh, the insurance companies of that day to provide the medical needs. And here is Jesus saying, hey, blind man, lame man, dumb man, you don't need good insurance. All you need is blessed assurance. So he who was known as the great physician did never need a hospital. Because he decided I can handle all of your medical needs. And you don't even need an insurance card. All you need is faith. 
the size of a mustard seed. I'm getting ready to close. Do I have a witness in the house? And here comes Jesus out of nowhere. And he was such a threat to them. Till they decided we got to get rid of this fella. Because some people don't feel they can shine until they put your candle out. And I came to tell 25 of y'all in my last six Dougie fresh minutes, when they try to blow your candle out, glow anyway. I, I felt that all by myself. Grab your neighbor by the hand. And tell your neighbor. Tell them, say, neighbor. When they try to put your light out, snatch them and say, glow anyway. Glow at the family reunion. Glow at the job. Glow on your block. And those that know you, the light of the world, jump up and shout, I'm about to blow. I'm about to blow. I'm about, I'm about. Got to touch three people say, I'm a glow, I'm a glow, I'm a glow. And if the princes of this world had known what they were doing, the text says they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. And I got to get ready to go and feed my children. But before I go to the table, I got to stop by and tell you about three steps that Jesus went through. The first place that he stopped was Gethsemane. It was known as the place of separation. And all of us are going to have to stop by the place of the crushing. I wish I had a witness in the house. And as I get ready to close, you need to understand. And then the next nine months, God's going to pull you away from some people. And he's going to cut off some relationships. Because there are some people that are in your life. They are only designed to take you so far. And they can go no further. But can I tell somebody, anybody that leave you right here, God is telling you that you didn't need them for the next place in your life. Because some folks are just like the rocket ship. The rocket ship goes to a certain place. And then the boosters begin to fall off. And I came to tell you, don't you stress out when the boosters fall off in your life. Have I got a witness in the house? He had to go through Gethsemane. It was the place of separation. Have I got a witness in the house? And he stopped through Gethsemane. And he stopped there to pray. And God gave him fresh oil. And I came to tell somebody that while you're on your way to your next stage, you better pray where you are. Because for the next place that you're going, the only thing that's going to get you through that is you got to have a praying spirit. I need you to lean on somebody and tell your neighbor, tell them, said neighbor, keep on praying. He had to go to Gethsemane. And the second place he went is a place called Golgotha. While Gethsemane is the place of separation, he had to stop at Golgotha, which is the place of humiliation. And all I need in here are the folks that went through a season of bad embarrassment. You couldn't hide your suffering. You couldn't hide your struggle. And everybody knew your business. I know what you're talking about. But God told me to tell you, if you get crucified with them, you will reign with them. Is there anybody here that's going through a bad situation on Golgotha's hill? They nailed his hands on Golgotha's hill. They pierced his feet on Golgotha's hill. They pierced his side on Golgotha's hill. They put a crown of 72 thorns on Jesus' head. Have I got a witness in the house? He wore the crown so your thoughts can get better. He wore a crown so your mind can get straightened out. They put hands, uh, they put nails in his hands uh, so that everything you touch uh, will have favor. I dare you to take your hand uh, and lay it on your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, because of the nails uh, that was in his hands, uh, I'm touching you 
secret power to over unclean spirits shall power over demons and devils shall power ask your neighbor how did you get this power Then I survive the cross I survive when they talk about me I survive all of my pain is there anybody here every survivor open your mouth I want you to touch two people and say, I survive, I survive, I survive. I got to go. He survived. Not only Gethsemane, the place of separation, but he survived. God, God, the place of humiliation. And Isaiah picked it up in chapter 53. He says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. Is there anybody that's in this house got a sickness in your bloodline? Shout cancer, you got to go, cause he was wounded, HIV, you got to go, cause he was wounded, grab your neighbor by the hand, shake him and rock him, rock him and shake him, said neighbor, if you ever wanted to know what a survivor felt like, tell him you're touching it right now, every survivor shout. Put that organ in the house, we finna go. I came to tell you that not only did Jesus survive the place Gethsemane, the place of separation, and not only that he survived Golgotha, the place of humiliation, but here's where you shout out. He survived to get to the third stage. Shout glory, shout glory. It's the place of the exaltation. And is there anybody under the sound of my voice understand that Jesus told that devil, I'm going to give you a warning. You better make up your mind. If you take me down, I'm going to get back up. He told the devil, I'm going to give you a warning. You better let me stay here. Because if I be lifted up from the earth, I, I, I'll draw to me grab your neighbor for the last time tell your neighbor as you shake them out tell them tell the devil you better keep me down you better not let me bounce back cause if I be lifted up I'll draw your cousin your nephew your niece your neighbors and he gave them a warning you better let me stay down Three pumps and say, I'm a bounce back. Those that are gonna bounce back, shout real loud. Is there anybody here? Feel a resurrection in your spirit. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor. For the next 90 seconds, I'm gonna dance. Cause for the next 90 days, I'm getting ready to bounce back. I dare you start dancing for your bounce back. I'm telling my folks that know you're gonna bounce back. Give it all you got, turn the drums up, shout! Where my bounce back crowd? Where my bounce back crowd? Shout! I said, where my bounce back crowd? Dance for your neighbor's bounce back! Give the devil a warning! Tell the devil, I'm dancing 
get my money. I'm dancing. Cause I'm about to get my breakthrough. Y'all ain't dancing. I said y'all not dancing. Dance for your bounce back. I need every preacher dancing. In the balcony. Can I get y'all to dance? For your neighbors bounce back. Dance, dance, dance. Come here, praise team. You better dance. Your money ain't gonna be funny no more. Your change ain't gonna be strange no more. You about to be happy again. You about to get happy again. Resurrection. I said resurrection. Touch three people said resurrection. In your joy. Resurrection. In your peace. Resurrection. In your body. If you ain't dancing, you gotta clap. Tell your name, you're gonna bounce back. Bounce back. There is a in your future. What's about to happen to your career? You wanna tell them? You're gonna bounce back. Those that show in tears, you're gonna reap in joy. Take that mic out. Bounce back. I don't want nobody around me But the folks that feel a bounce back in your spirit Ask your neighbor Do you believe I'm about to bounce back? I said ask him Do you believe I'm about to bounce back? Now shout like you believe Put your hand in their hand. Give me some young folks that want to bounce back. Give me some young people that will get on this stage. Hurry up, young people. Get on this stage with me. Because you ain't going to bounce back. God said if you dance for them, they will never take a hit. They will never take a hit. You need grows better shout for these young people. Shout! What if I told you your dance can give you overflow this year? I said, what if I told you that your shout will cover your child, will cover your family? I need some witness. Don't y'all, don't y'all spectate. Don't y'all spectate. Cause if the, if these, if these should hold their peace, the rocks would cry out. And I want everybody in here that feel victory in your future. Can y'all hear me in the balcony? Wave your hand if you feel victory in your future. Do me a favor, say, Satan, I'm giving you a warning for the rest of this year. I'm coming to get my stuff. I'm coming to get my stuff. I'm 
coming to get my stuff. You better shout like you got it. Shout. I don't have enough dancers in the middle.
tell y'all something. Look at y'all. Look at folks rushing out. Like he don't deserve your time. You wouldn't even be here. Shh. I'm going to say it. He said, here's the warning. If I be lifted up from the earth, I'm going to draw all men unto me. Shh. Those that are leaving, God bless you. Hope to see you next week. But if you don't mind, stand still. We're going to get out of here. Shh. All the way down. Shh. Let me tell you what ticks me off. Every year. Shh. Every year. On March 31st. Now we live in America and you can do whatever you want to do. It's the land of the free and so-called home of the brave. And every year on March 31st, the transgender community gets acknowledged. Fine. But it seemed like this year, President Joe Biden took time to acknowledge this day as National Transgender Acknowledgement Day, whatever the specific words are. Let me tell you what I know. They wouldn't have did it on the first day of Ramadan. Because Muslims would have towed the place up. They might have or may not have did it on the first day where they acknowledged the high holidays of the Jewish community. I don't know. But I do know that it seemed like they would have gave Jesus his own day. And if you're offended, I get it. But I believe the Bible. And let me tell you, the only thing I'm lifting up today, Joe Biden, you go ahead and lift up everything else. But I'm going to lift up Jesus. And I just want you to give one more 30 second dance. That while the trans community is celebrating themselves. And I ain't got no problem with it. Do what you do baby. But the only trans community that I'm celebrating in here today. Is the transformed community. Because of the blood. Now take 30 seconds and start shouting. For your transformation, I dare you shout for it. Are y'all scared, huh? Shout transform. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Shout for Jesus. You see some of y'all ain't gonna dance? Transform community! Shout! I'm changed. And he's yet changing me. community want to come here you're welcome we got seats for you 
You can come on and hang out with us just like all of us adulterers. See you Negro, shut up. Just like all of us fornicators. See you judgmental jokers don't want to say nothing now. Just like every liar. Just like every cheater. Just like every other sinner. All are welcome. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. I'm getting ready to shout. I'm going to cover your name. That whosoever. That whosoever. 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 Believe it on him shall not perish, but they're gonna have everlasting life. Oh, pam, 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 pam. Y'all sit down. We gotta go. I'm giving the devil a warning. Everybody with your last name who is not saved right now, I'm giving the devil a warning. Next year they're going to be here dancing with you. Shout for their salvation. Shout, shout. All your family. All your nephews. All your nieces. Tell your neighbor next year, my family's gonna be shouting with me. Now practice your shout with them next year. I'm giving you a warning, Satan. I've already won the battle. I'm giving you a warning. Overcome over your mouth and shout. Oh, no, 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 no. Joe made his declaration as the president. I'm making mine as a king's kid. This is the day, that's my proclamation, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This will always be a welcoming church. But I'm giving the devil a warning. Everything that come here going to be transformed. You don't get elevation without stopping through your Gethsemane. Thank you, Lord. You got to stop by your Golgotha. Gethsemane, the place of separation. Golgotha, the place of <laughs> humiliation. Oh, but bright early. Thank you, Lord. And they put him in that grave. He stayed there all night Friday. Some theologians would say Thursday. All night Saturday, but bright early. Sunday morning. Just whisper to your neighbor. Say, hey. Say, neighbor. He got up, he got up, he got up, he got up. He got up. Yes, Lord. I 
That's why I don't like these new songs. Songs that living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Riding, he testified. Freed me forever. One day he's coming back. Lord, he loves me. Everybody say, living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Riding, he testified. church sit down quick listen Shh. I want to open the doors of a church look your neighbor and I say I warned that devil I want to open the doors of a church if you ain't a member of a church I want you to come this way if you ain't saved I want you to come this way if you join in today, come this way. Everybody else, don't you walk out right now. If you're walking, I need you joining. Clap, here they come. Clap, here they come. Here come, they go one coming, come on. Bright Star St. James, don't y'all walk out of here. Y'all better clap for these new members coming. Look at these new members coming. I gave the devil a warning. Bam. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Come some more members. I want to tell the devil that there's some people ain't been a member of a church in a long time. But you get ready to come for your whole family. Clap your hands. Clap. Clap. Don't you let your family down.
some of y'all and say, Pastor, I ain't sure I want to leave my church. Because that's where my mama went, my daddy went, my granny went. Even though I don't go. Even though it's... As bad as the cemetery. Ain't nothing alive in there. I get it. I don't steal sheep. I just grow grass. You saying, Pastor, I don't want to leave my church yet, but I do want to be covered here. I want you to be my pastor. I do want to keep coming here and have my name on the road. I want to at least know where we're going to have my funeral at. <laughs> you need to be a member. So if that's you, we're going to clap. Come on, right now. Walk this way. Ain't nobody else walking but the folks that's coming. Come on. Come on. Clap. Y'all do better than that. Is he coming? Walk him down. Is he coming? Uh -huh. no. I want to talk. I want to talk to the group. Yes, he is. Come on. Clap. I thought all the grown folks would clap for this young man. Come on. Listen. Shh. There may be some of y'all who say, Preacher, I ain't sure this is church for me. I want to come under watch care because I care enough to watch with you. Listen. Shh. That means I'll be your temporary pastor. This will be your temporary church, Bright South St. James, until the Lord tells you where he wants you to go or until he answers my prayer and tell you to stay right here. Now listen. I want to talk to the one who say, Preacher, I'm still sinning. Me too. I'm still struggling. Me too. I still got some ungodly stuff I'm challenged with. Me too. I still like some stuff that God don't like. Me too. I still roll blunts. I still drink a little something, something. I ain't want to see it. I still play a lot of... You got to get to the place. Shh. You got to get to the place where you stop acting like you better than other people. But I want to give the devil a fair warning. I'm about to get better. Oh, I'm about to get better. Can I get chunk? I'm about to get better. 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 Still got a struggle. Still got some sin. Still got some bad ways. Still got some ungodliness. But I'm about to get better. I'm about to get better. Oh. So those that want to come under watch care, y'all clap. Here they come run right now. Come on. Come on. Shh. Struggling? Come. You need, a, you need a church home. You need a covering? Come. 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 Ask your member. Ask the people on your row right now. Are you a member of a church? Ask them. Just ask them. Come on. Look at them. Have you joined yet? No? All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know who all joined online. If you joined online, I want you to say, I'm joining today. As y'all get ready to walk out of here and they minister to you, I want y'all to know we get ready to go crazy because there are 12 up here. We got 12 more disciples. Make some noise up in here. Follow that young lady right there. Come on. I'm about to get better. I'm about to get better. I'm about to get better. She joining. She joining too. That's number thirteen. Y'all clap. We gotta go. I didn't mean to keep y'all that long. It's offering time. Those that are giving your tithing, those that are giving your gifts to me for my birthday. We gonna do this fast. We gotta go. Hey, look. I told him in the back. 
They were wondering. Thank you, Tracy. The giving options are on the screen. I'm sorry we're here so long, but Easter Sunday is a little special. If you were blessed today, shout to God. Ask the people next to you, say, will you sit next to me next Sunday too? Wait on an answer. Wait on an answer. Come on, look them in the eye. Wait. The one that ain't looking, they like, that's all you got, doc. You better get you one day. Hey, look. I want y'all, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we are on Zoom praying. More than 300 people joined me for the last four years on prayer, 6 a.m. And I want you also to join us. I want you to join us. Now listen, we here every Sunday. And I want y'all to be here next Sunday at 10 o'clock. But guess what's happening? Not only are we praying at 6 a.m. this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, take a picture of the screen, turn them spotlights off so they can see, and so I can stop frying. Thank y'all. Um, take a picture of the screen. Join me for prayer on Zoom. All y'all that be up at prayer, 6 a.m. Zoom, raise your hand. 6 a.m. with me every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Look at all these people. Over 300 to 350 people every Monday, Wednesday, Friday are praying with me. So join me tomorrow morning. Get on up. Tomorrow's going to be my birthday prayer. So I'm going to be up at 6 a.m. praying. And I want y'all to join me. Now listen. People were asking me, Pastor, you going to throw a party, do a banquet, anything for your birthday? I decided I'm not going to do anything tomorrow like an event for my birthday. I decided I'm not going to celebrate one day my birthday I'm going to celebrate all year my 50th year. And I'm excited. And I want you to know I appreciate every card. Listen, groups, leaders, ministry teams, I'm not going to let y'all take church time to come up here and present. Appreciate y'all. Uh, I, I don't want to hold everybody for that. I want us to get out of here. It's Easter Sunday. People got to go be with their family. Easter egg hunt. Do we got an Easter egg hunt? Where? Is it outside? They did it already. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank our youth directors, our youth pastors, Executive Pastor Perry, Executive Pastor D'Amica. Didn't they do a great job with our young people? Now look, I want to see y'all next Sunday now. Shh, don't y'all be, this is Church of God in Christ. This is C-O-G-I-C, not C-M-E. Christmas, Mother's Day, and Easter. I want to see y'all next Sunday. Now listen. Everybody say next Sunday. We are not going to be in this room. We're going to be in the gymnasium. Now listen. Why y'all saying, oh, we still going to have church? Listen. Shh. We're going to be in the gymnasium because there's an orchestra that rents this place once a year. And they have their event at about one or two. But it's the only time the students at this school get to play with an orchestra. I'm like, we empty in this joint and we're gonna let those young people have this place. They're gonna be rehearsing and they're doing all this stuff. They're gonna be setting up the sound check. So we still having church, tell somebody, we still having church at 10 o'clock at Kenwood. It's just in the gymnasium. So y'all come a little earlier, Shh. come earlier. Because you got to walk, it's same building, same parking lots, same everything. The, the staff is just going to direct you to a different room. So we are having church, 10 o'clock, right here, next Sunday. I am preaching next Sunday, 10 o'clock, same place. Don't y'all let me down, all right? Every gift that you're given, did they take up offering yet? All right, give as you go. I don't believe you got to pump and prime people. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Y'all ain't going nowhere yet. <laughs> We're going to be disobedient right now. <laughs> no, man, no, you only get 50 one time. We come to celebrate our pastor today. We're going to celebrate him. We're going to get in trouble after this, but that's okay. Amen. We want to bring out this birthday cake. 
And come on, let's sing. Let's sing this happy birthday. Come on, y'all help me sing. That's it right there. This version. Stand, we out of here. We got to go. Stand up, y'all. Listen. You can give as you go, tithing, offering. I'm gonna get every gift. I want to say thank you. God, listen. Nobody has to do anything for you. I, I want to tell y'all thank you. Listen. I got some nice gifts this year. They still giving. I got some nice. I got some <laughs> now, yeah. I'm just walking on the blood of Jesus. Now y'all know. Y'all know I'm too cheap to buy this kind of stuff. <laughs> but I'm grateful for folks who love me, who have blessed me. I, listen, for every card, for every gift, for every text, for every inbox. Thank you. Here's what I hope you'll do. Give God your tithing and your offering. What you do for me, I appreciate. And it elevates me. But what you do for God elevates you. The giving options are on the screen. Not just my birthday, give them the tithing and offering. Because listen, you can give to me all you want to, but if you don't give to God tithing and offering, that's the only way you're going to be blessed financially. And then everything else is on top of that. And how many of you will sow your tithing and your offering faithfully? Thank you. Don't let your church be a chicken dinner church. Listen. I want to close like this. Y'all stand. Hold hands with somebody. This is how I wanted to close out this Resurrection Sunday service. Those that are watching online, zoom in. I hope you hear me. I need you to pray with me this week. Shh. There is something that I prophesied is going to happen. And I believe that if we pray together this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 a.m., I believe this will be the week of release. I believe, I want, thank you, Balcony. Thank, I believe that this week, God's getting ready to open the windows of heaven. I just need a mouth open right now. Pour us out blessings, Brown, that our storehouse will not have room to receive it. I want you to get up with me 6 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I believe this is the week of release. I just believe, I believe it. 
in my 50th year, we're going to remodel God a church. Y'all ain't shouting with 2,000 seats. In my 50th year, we're going to buy more land. Y'all ain't shouting over there. In my 50th year, we're going to literally increase all of the impact that we've already had in the community. I, I don't know if you'll shout for the hand you're holding, but in this 50th year of my life, we're going to significantly increase the size of our churches. Y'all ain't shouting up in here. And you're holding the hand of the key to our future success. And I want you to start praying out of your mouth for them that whatever has been held up in their life this week, if they get up and pray with us, God will release some stuff on their behalf. How many of y'all want God to release some stuff on your behalf? Start holding that hand and pray out of your mouth right now. Come on, pray that God will do it. Pray that God will strengthen. Pray that God will cover. Come on, as we dismiss, pray for those hands now. Our Father and our God, we pray today for the hands that are being held. We pray to God that you would strengthen us. Help us to do your will. Help us, oh God, to serve how you would have us to serve. God, those that are under the sound of my voice that may be facing trying situations, that may be facing dilemmas and, and problems in their life, oh God, we pray today that as they leave this sanctuary that they'll leave them here on the altar. We pray, oh God, that we speak by faith, by declaration, that this shall be the very best week of their lives. God, we pray today that as you release us from debt and decisions, oh God, that has perplexed our minds, somebody is struggling in the courthouse, somebody is struggling in the doctor's office, somebody is struggling in their minds, in their emotions. We pray, oh God, since this is the week of release, that you will release us from every bondage, every snare, every toll, every thing, every stronghold that holds us in our current positions. We pray today that the power of the blood of Jesus would be sprinkled on the doorpost of our hearts and that you would move on the altar of our minds and that you would give us everything that we need. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We come against the hand that comes to divide. We come against the spirit that comes to destroy. We come against that foul demon that perplexes our mind and keeps us cursed. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our neighbors. We plead it upon their homes, their bank accounts, their vehicles, their means of transportation. We pray today, oh God, that you would walk with us. Be with us all week long, oh God. Get up with us in the morning. Wake us up for the 6 a.m. prayer call. Let us see you this week in a way that we never have in our entire lives. And we pray, oh God, today that you would bless our pastor, that you would continue to strengthen him, keep him and cover him, oh God. Let your blood, let your anointing continue to work in and through his life, that he may be able to lead this people called Bright Star in St. James. Now, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, we thank you, God, because you've always been good. You've always been consistent. You've always been our friend. You've been our best friend, our, our best friend. We thank you this day. And we pray that you will go with us for the rest of the day. Cover us with your blood. God, keep us as we leave this place, but never from your presence. Let your power go before us. Go in our homes, oh God. Watch us as we drive on the road. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. And we give your great name glory. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Listen. Everybody say Wednesday night, 7 o'clock p.m. CDI starts again, Christian Development Institute. And we're going through the book called God's Plan for Your Finances. Anybody want to be blessed financially? Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, meet us on Zoom. Hug somebody, tell them happy resurrection day. Can we get a couple young men to help us break things down on the stage? Can we get a couple young men to help us break things down on the stage? Can I see Dr. Sims, Dr. Bankhead, and Elder Carl West? Dr. Sims, can I see you at the stage for a minute? Dr. Jasmine Bankhead, can I see you at the stage for a minute? Elder Carl West.